Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the Windsor join. The Windsor join is a technique to join granny squares together. For this tutorial, you will need some squares that you want to join together, a crochet hook, and the yarn that you will be using to join the squares. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make a slip knot, how to work in the front loops and how to work in the back loops. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. My two example squares are solid granny squares. I have a video on how to make them and I will have that also listed down below. So to begin, you're gonna make your slip knot. You're then going to insert your hook into the top corners where your squares meet through both of them. You're going to attach your slip knot and bring it through both of those corners and then make a chain to secure it. You're then going to be looking at the sides of your squares. You're going to insert your hook into the back loop of the right square and then the front loop of the left square. Grab that yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. So again, insert your hook into the back loop of the right square, into the front loop of the left square. Grab your yarn, pull it through, pull it through that loop. So you're going to be using this back loop right here and the loop right next to it, which is the front loop of this left square. Grab that yarn, pull it through, pull it through that loop on your hook. Again, the back loop of the right square and the front loop of the left square. Grab that yarn, pull it through, pull it through the loop on your hook. And that's how it's looking so far. And you're going to repeat this until you get to the next corners of your squares. When you get to your next corners, you're going to insert your hook into those corners. Grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pull it through that loop, make a chain, and then you would fasten off the rest of your yarn. So this is how the Windsor join is looking from the back of our squares. And this is how the Windsor join is looking from the front of our squares. And that is going to be how to make the Windsor join. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.